Do you just love visiting castles? If so, this video is perfect for you. It covers the top 20 most beautiful castles in France. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And remember to hit the bell to make sure not to miss any of our upcoming videos. Starting our list at number 20 is Chateau d'Annecy. This castle in the small town of Annecy in southern France was initially built in the 13th century with expansions until the 16th century. In 1953, it was converted to a museum and now holds a collection of paintings and sculptures from around the region. The castle provides great views of the mountains as well as the Lake of Annecy below. Visitors can follow cobblestone alleyways from the castle into the town to explore. Number 19, Chateau de Carabas. This castle is a hilltop fortification in the foothills of the Pyrenees and was the last stronghold of the Cathars, a Christian sect who fled persecution in the 13th century. The castle now lies in ruins and can be accessed by hiking on foot. Once visitors arrive at the castle, they can take in beautiful views of the surrounding mountains. Number 18, Chateau de Beau de Provence. This is another entry on our list of a castle that is in ruins. This castle was built in Provence in the 10th century, and what makes this location special is that throughout the ruins, pictures are hung on the walls to illustrate what the rooms would look like intact, to get a feel for the splendor of the location and how life was within its walls. Visitors can also view master craftspeople working their trade as well as view demonstrations of the siege weapons in action. Number 17, Chateau Comtal de Carcassonne. This castle sits in the fortified city of Carcassonne and is said to be the inspiration of the fairy tale castle of Sleeping Beauty. Within the walls are many shops and restaurants to cater to tourists. Visitors can also explore the castle and even climb up to the tower for a beautiful view of the city and surrounding vineyards. Number 16, Palais de Pape. This enormous castle complex resides in the city of Avignon and was built by the Catholic Church in the 14th century as a seat of Catholicism for the 400 years of French papal rule. It is the largest Gothic medieval palace in the world at 15,000 square meters. In addition to exploring the 25 rooms of the complex, which include papal bedrooms and chapels, visitors can also view a collection of medieval art. At number 15 on our list is Rocamadour. This location makes the list not particularly because of the beautiful nature of the castle, but because of the sheer beauty of the entire village. The village and castle are built along the cliff overlooking the Dor River. Visitors must park in a car park near the bottom of the village and then either walk up to the cobblestone streets of the village or take a shuttle. The chateau is a private building and therefore not accessible by tourists. However, there is a paid option to access the rooftop for a gorgeous view of the cliffs and valleys. Number 14, Chateau de la Belle à Bois de Mont. This entry is certainly one of the more modern castles on this list, and to some it may not really belong. However, it is a castle in France and is quite beautiful and provides a great experience to visitors. It is located at the end of Main Street in Disneyland Paris and is the Disney version of the fairy tale castle of Sleeping Beauty. The castle includes a walkthrough attraction with beautiful stained glass panels, as well as a great overlook from the balcony. There is also a dungeon accessible to the left of the castle that houses an animatronic dragon that periodically blows smoke. Number 13, Chateau Duo, Königsberg. 
This castle sits overlooking the Alsace Plains in France near the Germany border. At one point in time, the area was actually a part of Germany, and Kaiser Wilhelm restored the castle in the early 20th century. Therefore, the castle has a distinct German feel. Visitors can view various 16th and 17th century armor and weaponry within the castle, as well as catch a great view of the Vosges Mountains and the Black Forest. Number 12, Chateau de Vertui. This beautiful castle in the town of Vertui has been privately owned by the La Rochefoucauld family since 1080. It sits serenely on the coast of the Charente River. Given that it is a private estate, the public is not allowed to visit except by taking guided tours on weekend days between April and September. Visitors can catch a meal at the Le Moulin de Vertui, an old flour mill turned restaurant. Number 11, Mont Saint Michel. Mont Saint Michel isn't exactly a castle, although it certainly resembles one. It is actually a walled city built around an abbey. It so resembled a castle that it actually served as an inspiration for Rapunzel's castle in Disney's Tangled. The city was built around and upon the abbey to form the castle-like structure. To add to the intrigue of this unique city, when the tide comes in, the road to the location becomes submerged and the area is then only accessible by boat. Coming in at number 10 on our list of the most beautiful castles in France is Chateau de Fontainebleau. This gorgeous castle was built in the 13th century around the time of King Louis VII to be used as a hunting retreat. Since that time, the castle has been expanded. It now includes a mix of Renaissance and Classicism, and consists of many vast spacious rooms and ballrooms. Some of these include the Gallery of Francis and the Chapel of the Trinity, each ornately decorated. The location also has impressive gardens. Number 9, Chateau de Milan. This striking Gothic castle was built in the 1400s using the honeycomb stone common to the Dordogne region of southwest France where the castle stands. It is well known as being the home of Josephine Baker in the 1940s. She lived here with her 12 adopted children, and visitors can see the representation of Josephine Baker and her children, as well as her influence on the resistance movement in World War II. Number 8, Chateau de Flaugères. While not the largest or most extravagant castle on this list, Chateau de Flaugères near Montpellier is a calm and relaxing destination. Visitors can view the castle and the grounds, with the interiors being beautifully decorated with antique furniture and Flemish tapestries, and the English-style garden being very inviting. Number 7, Chateau de Val. Chateau de Val is another castle on this list that has made the list due to the beauty of the surrounding area as much as the castle itself. In fact, the allure of Chateau de Val is due in part to its location on an island rising up from a man-made lake. The castle dates to the 15th century and currently is a very kid-friendly option for families wishing to tour a castle. Number 6, Chateau de la roche Coubon. This impressive castle was saved from ruin by Paul Chenereau, whose extended family still inhabits the castle. The castle is not the only draw to the area, since there are also Stone Age cave dwellings within walking distance of the castle, and the gardens and grounds are exquisite. The site hosts several events throughout the year, including a medieval festival. Guided tours of the castle are available at set times. 
Number five, Chateau d'Amboise. This vast, beautiful castle is built in the center of the city of Amboise, overlooking the Loire River. The castle contains Gothic, Renaissance, and 19th century styles. Leonardo da Vinci actually designed some of the renovations on request of King Charles VIII. In fact, the castle grounds contains the Chapel of St. Hubert, which is the burial place of Leonardo da Vinci. Visitors are astounded by the beautiful furnishings, suits of armor, stained glass, and tapestries. Number 4. Chateau de Chonosseur This is one of the most beautiful castles in France. It is built on the site of an old mill over the river Cher. This Renaissance castle has gorgeous pointed towers, a moat, and turrets, as if straight out of a fairy tale. Art lovers will enjoy the vast art collection in the gallery, including works of Tintoretto. Coming in at number 3 is the Palace of Versailles. Built in 1631 by King Louis XIII, this vast palace is now a museum of French history. This French Baroque-style castle contains 2,300 rooms, decorative gardens, and a grand canal. The Hall of Mirrors that connects the King's and Queen's apartments is most impressive, containing over 350 mirrors. Number 2, Chateau de Chambord. This gorgeous castle is the largest chateau in the Loire Valley and was built as a hunting lodge for King Francis I. The chateau is made of stark white limestone and boasts an intricate roof with a Renaissance flair. Don't forget to take in the interior of the castle as well, it is quite beautiful. You can take a guided tour or self tour of the chateau to view the lavish furnishings and decorations. And coming in at number one on our list of the most beautiful castles in France is Chateau de Chantilly. This awe-inspiring castle tops our list for sheer beauty and variety of things to take in. The gardens are absolutely stunning with different regions such as the Anglo-Chinese gardens and the English gardens. The horse stables, known as the Great Stables, are absolutely incredible and now serve as a museum to equestrian arts, while the castle itself houses one of the premier art galleries in France. So what do you think is the most beautiful castle in France? Let us know in the comments. For those of you who are ready to travel, Click the links in the description for the best hotel and travel deals. On behalf of Tanoa Travel Tips, we thank you for watching, and we hope to see you soon for more exciting travel tips.